Hello everybody, this is AJ with Car Inspected and today we're in the Etobicoke area looking at this 2016 Mercedes-Benz C300 gray with black interior pretty good condition I see no paint work in any, anywhere it does have some claims for the rear and on the front a bit of a collision but everything does seem to have been repaired correctly there's no alignment issues or anything like that and again anywhere else in the vehicle there is no paint paint work other than this rear area you can see the lines all match up did verify that the windows are still all original you see the Mercedes symbols in all of them they are all good windshield looks good Here's the original. Did a VIN verification on both the windshield and in the door, and they do match. So we have no issues there. Front fascia, there was some accident claim on the front fascia as well. However, I don't see any major damage or anything like that. Again, it looks like it was repaired correctly. Headlight housings, everything like that, all appears to be in good condition. No issues. A little bit of, so hanging out a little bit here, but nothing major. There's a couple of little dents on the passenger side. There's one in the door here, actually you can see right there. And then one near the fuel filler right there. Other than that, I don't see any major issues on the outside of the vehicle. There's a little bit of a, sorry, I forgot these scratches here. This is the right rear door, a couple scratches. Other than that, we're looking pretty good. Looking at the tires, brakes, etc., we find uh, pretty much new tires in good condition. These so are dated 2019, and they do show uh, about 10, 30 seconds. So they are pretty much brand new. Brakes, front rotors are looking decent. A little bit of scoring there. Pads are looking pretty good, as you can see in the video, but they are probably 75% or so. No major issues. While we're here, we can look under and see suspension components all look nice. Everything is straight, no major damage. No major leaks or anything like that anywhere under here. And again, no, no signs of rust or anything like that underneath. the right rear tire and again we have a matching Toledo 2019 with nice tread again about just about 10 30 seconds tread pretty much brand new tires rear brakes are looking okay no lip or anything a little bit of a lip but nothing major we do see the pads are looking pretty good they are about, I'd say, probably 75% as well. So they're even pretty much all the way around. While we're here, we look underneath, and we see no major issues. I don't find any, any evidence of the previous damage. All the bumper structure and everything seems to be good and replaced correctly. driver's side tires again we find matching 2019s with about 10 30 seconds of tread looking good and the same story with these brakes they look okay a little rust from sitting but no major issues and the pads are 70 percent or so and we look underneath on this side we see no no real issues anywhere nice and clean rust free no signs of damage this last driver's side front wheel is the same as all the rest, 2019. It is, uh, where's the date? Oh, this one's actually an 18, sorry, but they are still pretty much brand new. They're all matching, 10, 30 seconds, same thing. You can see that all the rubber is still there. Front brakes on this side are similar to the other side. Little scoring on those rotors. 
there's a decent sized lift. Probably need to replace them next time you get pads. Look inside the vehicle, we find it is nice, clean, and tidy. Got some original floor mats in the bags here, some all season mats, as well as the original Mercedes Benz mats. We take them out, we do find that the carpet and everything is in good condition. No, it rips, tears, any issues at all. It does have wheel lock kit right here. Storage compartment under here looks pretty good. No signs of issue or anything like that. There are a couple accessories under here. That looks good. No spare, it's supposed to be run flat tires. Oh, it looks pretty clean. These mats back in here. And again, as we look, we see no signs of major damage from the rear end collision. Everything looks to have been repaired correctly. It's the driver's side rear. Door panels look very nice. Nice detail with the wood grain. Speakers, everything. Everything looks pretty good. Nice and clean. Same thing with the rear seats. They show no signs of wear and tear. Look pretty good. Carpets. Nice and clean, no issues back of the seat, same. This door panel, again, looks very nice. No signs of wear and tear or major issues. Rear seats look good. On this side, no signs of wear and tear or anything major. Armrest works, cup holders work. Everything seems to be as it should. Carpet is in good condition. See no stains or any signs of issue. Go on to the passenger side. Same story, nice and clean door panels. No issues. Front seat, passenger seat is in good condition. No signs of wear and tear, seat belts look nice, everything looks pretty nice. Here are the winter mats, and underneath the carpet is in good condition, with no, no wear and tear. Glove box is nice, everything works as it should, and it does have the original owner's manual and everything with it, which is a bonus, as usual. See the top of the dash on this side is very nice, no issues. Does have the panoramic roof, which is open and does seem to work just fine. Go to the driver's side. Let me find the door panel. On this side is just as nice as the rest of them, with no signs of issue. Driver's seat, no signs of wear and tear. It all looks pretty good. As well as the floor, again, carpet underneath. Winter mat looks nice, pedals look good, dashboard looks nice. No issues with the interior, everything looks pretty nice. All the screens, everything seemed to work. console looks good all the screen electronics seem to work just fine as I went through them there's the console open and looking good nice and clean look at the engine real quick
looks nice and clean under here. No signs of major leaks or issues or anything like that. Your hoses, everything looks good. There is a bit of a belt squeak present, which may be a pulley tensioner. Uh, it is from the driver's side. So it could be the tensioner over here or the air conditioning compressor pulley. Other than that, everything looks good. I tested your oil, which is right here. And it came back positive, no issues with a green light. We're good, everything's nice and clean. Under here, looks good inside, nice and clean. Uh, looked at your coolant, which is in this tank right here. It is again nice and clean, and tested below negative 43 with no major issues. Your battery, battery, excuse me, is right here. Uh, under this compartment is the hookup. That tested well, We're sitting at about 12.5. Four, I think, charging at 14.6, so right where it should be. <clears throat> Your brake fluid is under here, and it showed 1% humidity, uh, which is perfectly normal, so there are no major issues. And again, I looked under here, I don't see any issues with whatever was repaired in the accident. There appears to be uh, nothing missing, nothing broken. Everything seems to have been repaired correctly. No rust or anything in the hood, no issues. Bolts have not been tampered with, so there was no hood damage or anything like that. It would most, must have been just the front fascia. So, there you have it. There's this C300 Mercedes. And as usual, thanks for watching. This is AJ with Car Inspected, and we'll see you next time.